A family grieving after these two brothers were shot and killed less than four months apart. I was just so torn up by that and, and the fact that um, his parents have lost, lost both of their sons. Loved ones say 20-year-old Jelijah Barnes was killed in March. His brother, 21-year-old Jamarion Barnes, murdered just last week. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel joining us live from the South Point area near Bowden Road where Jamarian was killed. Corley, you spoke with the brother's loved ones today. Family members say they have already been heartbroken, grieving Jelijah's death. Then last week, Jamarion was killed inside the shopping center where a memorial with balloons and flowers is now left. They say the most devastating part is the fact that no arrests have been made in either of the brothers' cases. Two brothers murdered 97 days apart. I don't think any parent could imagine just losing one child, but losing two in such a short time frame. It's horrible. It's heartbreaking. July Barnes died at 20 years old. His brother, Jamarion, only lived to be 21. Latanya Nelson is a family friend, but more like an aunt to the brothers. They're family. They're my nephews. Were Jelijah and Jamarion close? Oh, yes, they were. You would most of the time see them together, but they were, people sometimes thought they were twins. Mm. You know, said they were so close in age, but yes, they were very, very, very close. Jelijah Barnes was shot and killed on March 13th in the Oakleaf area near Beekman Lakes Drive. JSO says he was shot multiple times while getting out of a vehicle near a home. His brother, Jamarion, a young father with a nine-month-old baby, was killed last week in the South Point area. And the last time, unfortunately, I was able to give him a hug was at Jelijah's funeral. And so, yeah, it, it, it still hurts knowing that they're, they're gone. Police say Jamarion and the woman he was with, Tania Powell, were found shot to death inside a car in a shopping center parking lot near Bowden Road. Do we have any leads on who the suspects are in either of their cases? None that we know of. In both cases, I hope that somebody speaks up or they do find somebody and, and hold them responsible. Nelson says the brother's mother deserves closure after losing both her sons. There isn't any information out there indicating that either of their cases are connected, but we, of course, will continue to keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station. Corley, such a sad story. With this family losing two sons in one year, has there been an uptick in murders this year? Well, Joy, according to our News for Jack's archives, murders are up 22% compared to last year. In June 2021, there were 67 murders, and so far this year, there have been 78 murders. All right, Corley Peel reporting live for us tonight. Corley, thanks.